Imagine you were living the lifestyle that Patrick Mahomes is living. You just had a daughter a year ago, a year and a half ago, you won the Super Bowl MVP. You also signed a $500 million contract extension for 10 years with your team. And the year before that, you were the MVP of the whole league. So everything is going great in your life. You are one of the most physically gifted athletes we have ever seen at the quarterback position. Your talent is just ridiculous. And then you look over at the sidelines and you see your brother doing this. My generation is currently growing up as the TikTok generation. Luckily, I think my age group, so I'm 20 years old right now, I think we missed it by a few years just on, you know, everybody having TikTok, everybody wanting to grow up as a TikTok influencer. Heck, you look at all the kids right now, and there are so many 14 and 15 year olds just set for life based on the fact that they can do a few cool dance moves. And since Jackson Mahomes is indirectly in a spotlight of one of the most violent sports leagues across the world, uh, he is naturally going to get hated on because, you know, making TikToks is not considered masculine. But not only is Jackson Mahomes not masculine, he's just flat out cringeworthy. Dumping a bottle of water on Ravens fans after the Chiefs lost in week two in the primetime banger. And he happened to be the same kid who danced on Sean Taylor's memorial number. And keep in mind, he actually had opportunities to go to play college basketball and develop his game and potentially be a pro athlete. Because you know he has those pro athlete genetics. His brother is a football player in the NFL, and his dad was in the MLB. And the dude is six foot six. He is a foot taller than me right now. And in this article from Republic World, it says, despite his apparent basketball skills, Jackson Holmes might never be seen in the NBA after he chose to make a career as an entertainer on social media over heading to college to develop his game. Huh, imagine being 20 years old and becoming an entertainer on social media. But either way, he said, I love basketball. I played it for so long, but I wasn't in love with it when I had the opportunity to go to college. He told East Texas Sports Network in 2018. So after that, I was very, like, lonely, upset. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And honestly, I got to respect him for this because despite the fact that it could have been so easy to just chase the bag and continue doing something that he let's be honest, didn't want to keep doing. I'm happy for him that he figured out that basketball is not his path in life. But man, you are six foot six. Your brother plays in the NFL. He is the face of the NFL. And you're just sitting over here making TikTok dances. Like, do you not understand how ridiculous that looks? Last year at this time, we were all over Juju Smith-Schuster. Juju Smith-Schuster's social media was blowing up and he was getting roasted left and right because of the fact that he was making TikTok dances. Now, even though Jackson Mahomes does not play in the NFL, you put that, what Juju was doing, in the confines of the face of the league's brother, as well as the fact that he, let's be honest, acts in a way that makes his brother and the rest of his family look absolutely terrible, just like Mahomes' wife and his mom. And believe me, this just doesn't extend to TikTok. He acts like this apparently everywhere. I was on Reddit and I found two comments from people who know gentlemen who work at suites across the NFL. And one of these comments says, I have multiple friends who work the suites at Arrowhead and the workers make a conscious effort to avoid having to work the Mahomes suite. Apparently his fiance and brother treat them like second class citizens. And if you work that suite, you can expect smaller tips from any other suite, no matter how good the service is despite the family obviously having tons of money. I found another comment saying, My dad is a sponsor for another NFL team, and I've heard bad stories dating back to his first year as a starter. They demand their own chief suite everywhere and refuse to share it with others. This is hard to accommodate since most suites are owned by companies and sponsors. If they don't like their tickets, they make up fake claims to security until they are moved to an area they like. My question is, how in the world do they even get these tickets? I mean, I saw Jackson Mahomes make TikToks in Philadelphia, Tennessee, and then Baltimore, where the Chiefs were playing this year as the visiting team. And I can't help but wonder how they got such good suites, considering I've sat next to multiple NFL, NHL, and MLB wives across all my years of attending sports. And I found another comment that said, this guy went to a restaurant my roommate used to work at, and he threw a fit when the restaurant wouldn't serve him alcohol since he was only 19 years old at the time. And he dropped the classic, do you know who my brother is? Line before he stormed out. 
this is actually hilarious. I think about how many people I've kicked out of my own restaurant that I was friends with who I knew had fake IDs uh, over the past, you know, 15 months at the old place I used to work at. And the fact that he dropped the, do you know who my brother is, just proves that he's piggybacking off his brother's success. I think the solution to this for Patrick Mahomes, because I didn't just come on here to bash Jackson Mahomes for six minutes. I, I'm here to offer solutions. In the words of John Taffer, I don't embrace excuses, I embrace solutions. I think the best thing Patrick Mahomes can do is pull an Aaron Rodgers. I mean, it worked pretty well for him. He is one of the best quarterbacks in the league still. But let's be honest, iron sharpens iron, and whoever you hang out with, whether it's family or friends, is a semi-reflection of you, the person, as well. Through what I've seen over his past three, four years as a starter, Patrick Mahomes is pretty good with the media. Believe me, I'm a Broncos fan, so naturally I hate the Chiefs. I will literally never, ever, ever root for the Chiefs to win a football game. Even against the Raiders, I hate the Chiefs more than any other team. But I am friends with a lot of Chiefs fans. I know a lot of Chiefs fans who are really chill. And I don't know a single fan of Kansas City who actually genuinely enjoys this dude or his presence. When you're on TikTok, you almost have a million followers. You have to make yourself look good. You can't do anything that makes yourself look bad. We're growing up in the era of social media where stuff athletes said in 2009 is coming back to haunt them to this day. So what makes you think if you're in a sports industry spotlight that you know dancing on the sideline and pouring water all over an opposing team's fan is going to make people have a short memory? I am not living in my sibling's shadow. If I happen to blow up on YouTube and let's just say my brother was going around parading asking why restaurants wouldn't serve him alcohol, even though their brother was the Kodiak who had like, I don't know, let's just say 5 million subscribers, I'd take a huge, huge long look in the mirror and be like, dude, what the hell? But yeah, I mean, that's all we have to say about Jackson Mahomes. I'm interested to see how his behavior changes as he grows up more and as Mahomes gets further and further into the NFL. Yeah. I will see you guys next time. Peace.